More than a thousand U.S. service members have lost a limb in the Iraq and Afghanistan wars. But many are actually returning to combat thanks to bionic legs and arms, and some are receiving training here in the Tri-State. Nine News anchor Brendan Keefe has more on these bionic soldiers and Marines. Brendan? Carolyn Clyde, we have finally reached the point where prosthetics aren't just a suitable replacement for a lost limb, they're actually stronger and have more stamina than the real thing. Yes, we're talking about true bionics, and you're about to meet the real $6 million man. This is the latest weapon on the battlefield. It's not a robot, but a bionic leg attached to Sergeant Jordan Smith, U.S. Army. It's kind of like I had my leg back when I got this one. We're going to start giving you power now. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> Sergeant Smith and his bionic ankle have come to Tactical Defense Institute in Adams County. One of five amputees participating in a pilot program learning how to handle firearms using their bionic limbs. Yeah, you're pretty decent. Good, good. It was a bullet that took Sergeant Smith's leg, fired by an Iraqi insurgent during an ambush in Baghdad. The names of his buddies who didn't survive are etched into one of his three remaining limbs. He was the lucky one. It's, it's rough, it's hard. Um, it's, I kinda, why me? Why did I live and they didn't? Um, why did I get hurt? I mean, four inches, the bullet would have missed me. Either way, four inches. The infantryman has been using the I walk by him foot for about a year. My good leg gets tired before my prosthetic leg. This one's got assistance, I mean, it, it's, I'm trying to keep up with it. That's because it is truly bionic. A piston replaces the calf muscle and Achilles tendon. And with six microcomputers on board, it even does the thinking for the lower leg. This seems to go beyond what the manufacturers are even claiming it'll do. Sam Santa Rita owns SRT prosthetics, which fits amputees with several kinds of artificial limbs. Perfect. There you go. Now we just need to reload. Like the bionic knee, but the biom ankle is a game changer. It's the first product I've seen in 25 years that actually mimics what the human body is doing and in some ways is superior in strength to the power that's in the human ankle. You heard right. It's stronger than the human leg it replaces. Strong enough to send this soldier back into combat. Sergeant Smith says it's as simple as reloading. It's a battery. It doesn't get tired. It dies, swap them out, two seconds, you're going right back at it. On my other legs, I walk a little bit slower. Now that I have this thing, I find my right leg trying to keep up with it. Retired Marine Rob Warner lost his leg in a motorcycle crash between deployments. His unit went to Afghanistan without him, and many did not come home. I felt horrible. Those were my brothers. Warner chose retirement. But more and more military amputees are staying on active duty and returning to the battle. A generation ago, nearly 98% of amputee warriors would leave the military. Now the Army says one out of five single amputation soldiers returns to full duty. Everything was left up to me. What do you want to do? That uh, was the big question. What do you feel comfortable doing? Um, do you want to stay active duty? Do you want to retire? Um, and I chose to stay in. That's why the Defense Department and Veterans Administration funded development of the bionic ankle and other advanced prosthetics. Imagine the enemy seeing this entering the room. But now civilian amputees are also benefiting from this military technology. Now you're stable. We are probably going to see people that are performing at a higher level than able-bodied people. Plant drop, whack that guy, pivot. Play it drop, then make your entry. Tactical Defense Institute and SRT are now offering a firearms course just for amputees. Carry that gun anywhere they need to carry it to, and then you're never going to get tied up in the steering wheel. But Sergeant Smith can slip on his bionic leg and keep up with just about anyone. I can do this. 
Yes, he can. And Sergeant Smith is returning to active duty at Fort Sam Houston in Texas. And as an infantry sergeant, he'll likely head back to combat as a squad leader with his bionic leg. Meanwhile, Tactical Defense Institute and SRT Prosthetics have scheduled their first official amputee firearms training camp for next spring in Adams County. Guys? That's amazing. It is. It, it really is impressive. It, yeah. it really is something to see. That's just great. Yeah, thanks, Wish Brenda. the sergeant well. Yes. And environmental hazard is lurking under.